Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Uh, I have a light on drive. I just updated my dashboard to uh, 13146. And now I can't play my backup games anymore. WTF, mate. What's going on? What happened? So what I did was I'm going to hook up my drive to Jungle Flasher and it's going to show me this. What happened? I don't know. How am I going to fix this? Well, luckily, C4 Eva and Team Jungles come out with the new Jungle Flasher. And we will be able to update this to LT Plus 1.9. And it's going to match with the revision for the dashboard to the custom firmware we have here. I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, let's go ahead and plug in our SATA cable. We will plug in the probe. 3 cable. Go ahead and connect the probe 3. We'll plug the X360 in right there. We got our probe 3 connected. We're going to plug in the CK2 over here. Now we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. Let me show you guys what I actually use to power this. Is I use the... It's called a Molex adapter right here. I know a lot of people have asked me about these. Basically, it just takes the, the plug from the computer and puts it into this little box so that you can connect to whatever you want to connect to. And you can buy these at uh, pretty much any website that sells the X360 is going to sell these. And this is a Molex adapter. So, we're going to go ahead and plug in the USB to the X360. It's connected there. Set that to the side. Now we're going to go to the computer. Okay, here we are in Jungle Flasher. What we're going to do is go to the DVD key 32. We're going to go ahead and refresh. Um, your drive won't say that it's verified because you haven't read it yet. Uh, mine just says that because I, you know, tested everything, make sure it works well. Uh, dummy bin, I checked that so that I don't have to click yes a million times. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice that it says that it is the 0251 version of firmware, and right now you can't read you know you can't read a backup so what are you gonna do what you gotta do is the same exact process is flashing you know your LT 1.1 all we're gonna do is go to fat key and after I hit yes we're gonna jump back over to the board and I'll tell you what to do there so now I'm gonna hit yes and then we'll go to the board okay here we are on the board what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the button then we're gonna touch our point we will release the button. The box pops up on the computer. We'll remove this. Hit the button one time. Then we'll hit OK on the computer. So now we're going to the computer. Right, here we are on the computer. Just hit OK. And we're going to save that dummy bin. We'll go let it auto load for us. And here's the, you know, the Rev uh, 02510C. Down here is the 0251C LT Plus 1.9 version. All we're going to do is go to save the file, save as custom firmware, go back over to the MTK flash, we'll do light on erase. We're going to say that, that, then we're going to turn it off, then on. There's a flash 72. All you got to do is go to right. And there you go just you know turn it off turn it back on and refresh up here and now yours will say verified um, and you'll be good to go uh, no this isn't my key down here guys this is just the standard key that came with uh, the light on firmware pack for doing this video um, 
so yeah this is Carolina Gamer if you like the vid subscribe rate it five stars comment do what you do this is how to flash the 0251 uh, firmware that will be flashed by the dashboard update when you get to connect to live um, you know if you're on live now your firmware has been updated to this if you have a light on on one of the old school xboxes the fat xboxes it's running 0251 firmware unless you flashed it some different way around after you updated but the update itself will flash this new firmware and that's why you can't play a backup this video here shows you how to fix that problem Carolina Gamer, out.